Hi everyone, welcome to my office for the day. So I thought, let me just put this in park a minute. So I thought I would make a video to just drive around, show you what I'm doing on the farm. Um, so we're on an arable farm, which means that we don't have livestock. We just grow crops and then we also have a DIY livery yard. Um, so that's what these guys are. They're some of our, our horses that we've got here on livery. And um, sorry about the rattling in the background, by the way, this isn't going to be a video with good audio quality. So if that annoys you, then this might not be the video for you because I'm just going to drive around in the tractor and chat to you about what we're doing and what's going on on the farm. So I'm out harrowing today. Um, oh, why am I zoomed in so much? <laughs> So I'm in my tractor, which is an older um, John Deere. It's a 6300. Uh, there are the harrows on the back. We've got some lovely hydraulics on these. We used to, these are quite new. Um, we used to have one that didn't have hydraulics, which meant that you had to get out and manually flap the sides up and down, which, and it was so heavy. So I could only flap up the side that was pointing downhill if that made sense because it I could just about do it if it was pointing downhill but I couldn't do it if I was then pushing it uphill as well so I'd have to then get back in the tractor turn the tractor around so it's facing downhill and then um, yeah so <laughs> I'm very very pleased that we've got these because just with um, this lever I can flap them up and down um, so yeah thrilled about that so I'm harrowing and dad is coming along behind me in the big tractor. Don't ask me what number that is, um, but it's much bigger than mine and it's, he's rolling. Um, so he's coming along. So I'm um, scuffing up the ground, kind of leveling it a bit. Um, the harrow also rips out the dead stuff, which allows the new growth to grow through. Um, so I've just finished this paddock. So you can see it's, um, much better than say that bit there which I can't reach with the harrows so that's what it was like. So this is where we've got all of our sort of summer paddocks for the horses so a couple of them are yet to move um, so as you can see there in the mirror I've got the harrows coming along behind and we'll go along and the bits that are really really bare um, then we will seed them and then that should get them really going again and then they've got all summer to recover um, so I'm pretty much done with this paddock so I will fold it up and move on to the next one so now it's folded up and ready to go into the next paddock got my little friend down here helping the tractor dog thing with it being all split up into lots of little paddocks is it is a bit of a nightmare to get in and out because you have to fold up um, in between every paddock. So I've got to go a couple of times around the outside because that tends to be where it's worse and what I want to do is get as close as I can without ripping them out the ground because then I'm going to have a load of fencing to do. I want to lift up and reverse back into that corner so I can get right in the corner which isn't as easy with this one because it's not quite a corner because that's where our water tank is which gravity feeds all of the troughs so our water is actually out of a borehole so we're off grid for our water we're sort of working towards self-sufficiency with we've got some solar panels but it's not enough we'd like to do a load more solar because it's nowhere near as much as we're actually using that it's producing but um, we do have some solar and we're off grid with our water um, it's a really mulchy bit here as you can see 
behind. It's doing quite a good job. I am by far an expert tractor driver. I want to push the foot down, going forward. Alright, so this is the plan. Sort out horse paddocks and then hopefully we will have enough grass to cut the hay and then hopefully the weather will allow us to cut the hay because we've used up all of our hay now um, for this year. So that's that and we need to get on making hay for next year. So we provide, with our livery, we provide hay and haylage um, for about six months. The weather was so hideous this year that I think we provided it for about eight months. And then if people want some in the summer, then they, they buy their own. Um, but we need to get on making hay, otherwise we're not going to have any to provide. Um, and some of that just depends on the weather and the ground conditions. Little helpers. So that's it for sorting out the winter paddocks. The only other thing that we did was um, went in with the handler in certain areas where it was really chewed up and needed sort of some extreme levelling. I also saw a buzzard, so I thought I'd include that clip. It's a bird of prey that we see a lot of while we're out in the tractor. We see a lot of buzzards and we also see an awful lot of deer. Um, we have small roe deer here. So we see quite a lot of them. So I also went out and did some rolling in our grass fields. So this is where one of the fields that we're hoping to cut for hay, um, hopefully very soon. We do hay and haylage, so hopefully we can get on that soon. So that's what we've been up to today. And that's part of some of the work that goes into preparing the paddocks for livery and preparing the ground for cutting hay. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching and riding around with me today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.